Hi, in this video I'd like to go over some of the differences when setting up the GOG version of your Fallout New Vegas. Now the GOG version is actually the ultimate edition so it is already set up with large address aware. GOG um, has actually done that with Fallout 3 also and um, the Skyrim so all their games are actually large address aware. They don't have the I and I updates, but um, that can be done quite easily. So what I'll do is just go over the differences here. With the Fallout New Vegas, um, in order to get to the um, the folder, you can either go through here um, on the GOG page, and you just want to click More, and then you can. Um, go to the manage installation and show folder and that will take you actually to the folder um, if you manually have to look for it it's in the C drive GLG games follow New Vegas right there um, so then you would just go to your C drive if you had to do it manually and go there and there's your GLG Galaxy under the program files and you just want to go to the games inside the GLG Galaxy folder and that's where all your games will be stored I haven't actually switched over my Fallout 3 from the Steam version to the GLG Galaxy I've just done my new Vegas at the moment on this machine um, but I'll go over a few of the differences so once you have the folder open and I'll just sort that out. Now, as you can see, I've already placed uh, my files here. Uh, they basically get placed the same as in the Steam version. Just, of course, you alter the placement to this location. And basically, with the multi-core and threading, for the GLG version, um, you do still want to do the DX9 final release the game if you're going to be using EMBs or anything like that um, some systems if they don't have the DX9 final release will come up with some library file errors because it's missing some DX9 files so if you're going to use anything like EMB or anything like that make sure to um, install that and then once you've installed that then just run the DX web setup to make sure that there's any um, if there's any DX9 files that you install they get updated properly and that will basically that second part will tell you that everything is up to date as far as the DX files now um, as far as your video drivers if you need to update your video drivers you can do so here um, as well you can also do the Win 10 pop-ups, disabling them through there if you're a Win 10 user. Um, most of the setup is, is the same. Um, of course, you just alter it depending on your location. Now, with um, the retail version, it's been a long time since I had a retail version, so I can't remember the actual folder that it would go into. Um, but with that one, you can actually run the 4 gigabyte patch from this mod on that game EXE, and it will work. Just the Steam version doesn't work with the uh, 4 gigabyte patch. That has to use um, the FNV 4 gigabyte, or you can um, work around that without using that and use this setup, which gives you the LAA and the script extender um, modifies the INIs by fixing them and enabling your various core settings and, and threading and then you actually would run it from the script extender and that that method is actually a little more stable for me um, the original FNV 4 gigabyte used to work with this um, you could use them side by side however the new ones um, that were brought out they took the one away that would work with this and created ones that actually cause issues with this now um, I 
don't really know why he did that, but he just did that. So anyways, I made this so that it would work fine without the need of FNV for Gigabyte. And seeing as it's not required for retail or GLG, really wasn't that important. Um, but anyways, so as far as this goes, when you download the, um, the update package here, which is this one right here. Um, when you're extracting the files, um, you just want to watch this video here, the first one here, and this one will tell you how to place the files. But um, when you're using the alternate GLG version, you just want to place the files in the GLG folders, which I've just shown you here for the uh, main game folder. And um, basically, GOG, you just want to um, back up the follow default II and the follow New Vegas launcher. You're going to be using the um, script extender as the launcher. And you just want to place those in here in your GOG Galaxy folder. And then, as far as the follow I and I, um, it's the same location for both so as far as placing it with the placement video here um, those files go there so if you're actually switching from Steam to a GOG version um, you may want to just go into that folder first and um, remove your save files or back up your save files um, before switching over to the GOG version then you can place those save files back in and play your game from there. As far as the um, step two, um, now if you've backed up the Fallout New Vegas launcher and you want to use the large address aware New Vegas um, script extender, then what you want to do is download the script extender, the same as on the install video here. And then, of course, you're going to extract it to the GOG folder again, which is here. And then you want to run that 4 gigabyte patch and apply it to the loader, the same as in the setup video above. Um, one main difference, when you rename the loader, the, the launcher, sorry, it, you do have to make a, um adjustment to your GOG game. In order for it to run with the script extender as the loader file and that's basically just going into your GLG here and clicking on more and going to the settings and then you want to um, you want to turn off your in-game overlay the reason being is the script extender is actually designed for the steam overlay so it has a bit of problems with the in-game overlay from the GOG and it will actually cause the game to crash on start if you have the in-game overlay with the script extender for GOG. Now I've also turned off my auto updates. That's just so that if um, they do decide to update it in the future, it won't overwrite all your files, um, taking out the script extender and stuff like that. And you'll be prepared if there is an update um, because it's not automatically there you can make the adjustments to your files you know, before actually updating it so that you don't have to go through and re-download everything and redo it all again but that's basically it with the GLG and I'll just show you where the save files are they're in the same location as the Steam edition which is my documents and my games and it's right there um, Fallout New Vegas and as you can see I have the Steam versions installed right now for Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 and they're right there too so all I I did was I went into the Fallout New Vegas prior to upgrading and I just copied this folder and pasted it on my desktop and then when I installed the GLG after it finished um, setting up the files I just went back here 
I put the saves back in and um, I did have the cloud saves on um, I've run it with it on and off um, seems to work fine either way eh. so choose whichever way you'd like to do it um, I just found it was um, just something I didn't need at the beginning of my start and the end of my start where it would back up all the saves and back up all the saves again. I can do that anytime I want. So I didn't really have to go through that process. But if you want the game to start up faster and close down faster, just turn off the cloud saves and then turn them off maybe once, turn them on, sorry, maybe once a week or something. Um, back up your saves just when you're um, doing it tell them that you want the saves transferred from your PC to the cloud save don't tell it to put the cloud save onto your PC because then anything that you've done since you made that cloud save will be overwritten by the other cloud save and you don't want to lose your games that way so make sure when you're updating them that you tell it to update from the PC to the GOG not from the GOG to your PC all right and as far as that goes that's about um, it as far as the differences go um, and basically just follow this video here and make the alterations for your GOG game location and the game should run fine if there's any other questions please let me know and I'll try and answer them as well as I can otherwise I'll talk to you again